once you have a billion dollars or you're like Jeff Bezos, right? And, and Elon Musk, it, it's like, you can have anything in the world, right? Yeah. So what motivates them to keep doing what they're doing every day, right? Because it can get pretty boring pretty quick. It's having a purpose, right? What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Creating Wealth Podcast, where I, Kyle, from Kyle Curtin Real Estate, interview local top dogs in the real estate investing, wealth building, and personal finance industries. Let's build together. What's up, guys? Our guest on this week's episode is into some super cool projects, ranging from being an awesome full-time loan officer to being an extremely creative content creator, to investing in NFTs and metaverse projects. We get to talk about something a little bit different on the podcast today. In the second part of this two-part interview, Sidrit and I get a chance to chat about genuine brand building through giving, having a bigger purpose than just the dollar, the importance of calculated risk, and so much more. There is a ton of super valuable information for really any type of business owner in this episode, and I hope you enjoy. Let's jump right into the episode. Content creators are expected to be the next type of advertising. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> if you want, I can share a little about, you know, our, our social media, you know, our by our, I mean, like my wife and I. Mm -hmm. We have a couple of accounts. Um, one is we've turned it into like a family account. And another one is our child, you know, our firstborn when we opened it then. And recently we found out that in November, my wife, even without knowing, or we had made $250 from Reels. All right. So, uh, so we dig a little deeper. Right. And I guess, you know, like she was selected, you know, part of Instagram's like um, um, platform, you know, to uh, to to be part of this, you know, like real bonuses. And she does have I'll say she does have one hundred and eight thousand followers on there. Um, but yeah, for for December, she's eligible to make up to twelve hundred dollars just from real views. And yeah, it's, you know, like, it's amazing, right? I mean, um, and same thing for, for my son's account, which we have on Instagram, that, that's also eligible to make like $800 in reels. And he has, he has 5,000 followers or 6,000. Um, Interesting. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, but the future of advertising will be content creators and, and we can't, we can't be sleeping on that. Definitely not. I mean, like, it's crazy. Even like, you know, talking about Gary V, like just the power of, you know, just kind of broadcasting yourself, you know, as a, as a brand, like as an individual and like, it's, it's just so powerful nowadays, you know, especially 100%. with a lot more people like being on their phones and like, you know, the metaverse and stuff, <laughs> you know, like now, now like everybody's on a computer, man. Like, you know, <laughs> you know, and like, it's, it's unbelievable. It doesn't matter. It yeah. doesn't matter what, what age you are, you know, like you could be young, older, you know, like you, I, I, I see like, you know, grandparents on TikTok, you know, like yeah. and they're, they're killing it. <laughs> they're doing much better than you and I. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, man, it, it, it really is unbelievable. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it really is crazy. <laughs> yeah. So honestly, man, it was um pretty much it was a little over a year ago. And I was starting to like really get into like, you know, the real estate stuff as an agent. And like I was into it for a while, but not not like a whole lot. Um, because I have like mm -hmm. a full-time job as well, like during the day. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, I I started to I like change companies to the company I'm with now and you know happier than ever and like absolutely life-changing um <laughs> thank you guys you. Uh -huh. thank Good you man <laughs> um but yeah so like once I I kind of changed um changed brokerages like everything kind of changed for me man like 
I wanted to start to like network a lot more and like COVID was like really hitting the fan. So I was like, well, how can I start to meet a lot more people? Um, you know, and now that everything's all closed down, like restaurants and meetups and like networking events and everything. And then like my content on my Instagram and stuff definitely was not what I envisioned it to be as well. So I was like, oh, well, I wonder what I can do to kind of like, you know, meet yeah. more people, um, have better content and then or, you know, establish like start to build up my brand, like, you know, as an individual, um, you know, and then like with everything being shut down, I was like, oh, well, I That's wonder, weird. you know, maybe if something like that would work. And like I was pretty skeptical because like I, I was just like a, you know, I think it was 19, I'm pretty sure. And uh, I was like, oh, like, you know, who's going to want to like, you know, hop on a, a Zoom call, you know, like with some kid that doesn't know anything for, you know, an hour. And that was literally like one of the biggest lessons I learned. And like, I, I try to preach it as much as I can. Like you were saying earlier, like with social media, man, like it doesn't it doesn't matter, um, you know, how old you are, or like, you know, where you come from or like how much information and stuff that you have. Like it, it doesn't matter. You know, like yep. literally anybody at all can do it, you know, and like, yep. um, it's, it's like one, one, you're like one 10 second video from becoming famous. Exactly. Or, or from something like blowing up. Right. Exactly. And the more, you know, 10 second videos you put out, the higher your chances are right? <laughs> you know? sure. And like, not to mention, like, I, I just kind of fell in love with it, you know, cause like everybody's stories are going to be completely different um you know like real estate investors like you know other folks in the real estate industry like entrepreneurs like everybody comes from a different set of cards you know and like to be able to to kind of like have people on and just you know kind of give people the floor to be able to like tell their story and like explain you know kind of how they got to where they are and like what their vision is for the future and i don't, I don't know i just like to be able to kind of like build those relationships and then, you know, be able to post that content, like for other people to listen to, like to learn as well. Um, I, yep. I just feel like it's, um, yeah. you know, it's, it I can mean, be like a big, you're, oh, sorry. You're, you're, gi you're giving this information for free, right? I mean, whoever finds it valuable, they will, they're going to return and listen more and watch more. Um, who, who doesn't, you know, like they're going to move on, but exactly. you're, you're, you're giving people something for free. It's only costing them their time. Yep. So why not? I mean, exactly. And that, that's how you're going to grow. Right. I mean, if you don't sacrifice either your time or your effort or whatever you're, you're doing, uh, you're not going to go far. Right. I mean, you're right. you, you have to start by giving something to the audience and you said something in the beginning, um, you know, now that we restarted, you said that, um, you know, like in the Instagram, like your, your Instagram was going nowhere. And I feel like that's a lot of people, right? They post a couple of things and they're for a big surprise. They're in for a big surprise. They're like, oh my God, I only have 10 likes. Well, too bad. You got, you yeah. got to be constant, right? Until people get to know who you are, your story. I mean, you, you've kind of branded yourself with a podcast now, right? Which is awesome. I mean, you could, you could easily like get, eventually you could get like much, much, you know, like famous people on your show by saying, Hey, you know, listen, I've, I'm being listened in 150 countries. I have 50,000 listen, listeners on my podcast. Do you want to be on? And exactly. boom, you're providing even more value to your audience right exactly like that's what it is man is like it's just it's all value because like the exactly. way that i kind of look at it in like the real estate investing sphere um in particular is like I don't, I don't know like just it's probably just like the way that like i've been brought up is like you know the people that like have taught me and like you know how like even like having conversations you know like this or like reading books or like listening to podcasts like the amount that you learn and like the amount of like life-changing value that that people might be like giving to you whether they realize it or not like is absolutely crazy and like 
I feel like at least the way that like I look at it for myself is to be able to like, you know, take all of that in and learn from it and then pass it on to somebody else. You know, I kind of bring other people up like all together and like, it's, it's just value, man. It's, it's information and execution. A hundred percent. Like I couldn't agree more. I, I mean, my, like my mentors in my careers have usually been my managers or like supervisors and I'm like really grateful. And at that time, maybe I wasn't using social media as much or I was using social media not as a content creator or, or to educate myself. I was looking at my, my favorite soccer team or, you know, I was yeah. looking at funny videos, right? I mean, obviously you're in your 20s. What are you going to do on your social media? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> but, but now, I mean, the past few years, it's it's been like eye-opening. I mean, I've... I started my Instagram account um, almost two years ago, right? And um, for Thanksgiving in 2019. And I mean, it, it it's like, hey, I don't want to just use this platform, um, you know, to, to, to be a user and just keep scrolling. I want to give back, right? Exactly. I want to give something back and, and educate others. And um, last night, last night at the holiday party, I mean, I had, uh, another girl she, she's like I love your, your stuff you know she's like I, I've learned so much from it uh and, and it's it makes you feel good man. it I does mean, it, that's what it is it, <laughs> you know it's, it's not about the likes and I mean obviously you want to grow and but but it, it's like knowing that you're helping others it that's there's it. no better feeling and, and then they appreciate it they tell you in person or or a message a dm it's powerful man that's it at the end of the day, man. You know what I mean? Like just, just to be able to help other people, like, like that's, that's really all it is, is just exchange of yep. value, you know? Yeah. But like if it, you if... focus on, sorry, no, sorry. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. I was going to say like, if, if you focus on, Hey, I'm going to open a, an Instagram account and I'm going to make money. That's, nah. that's not the way you're, you have to build the money will eventually come. Right. I mean, that, that, that that's a given right if yeah. you grow to a certain number you know to a certain degree you can make money in many different kind of ways but um unless you're like genuine unless you're authentic you know like people will see what you're there for exactly. if you're if you're trying to sell them something it, it's gonna be obvious right i mean once you're a gary v or once you're a grant cardone trust me people will buy from you eventually but right now i mean right now you're you're sidrid vesela you're kyle curtain you know like <laughs> you know you gotta educate you know help right. people out you know like and 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 they're gonna give it back to you in return later on as your community is growing so i completely agree man and like you know to stem back to something you said a couple seconds ago was you know like when you kind of have that influence as you know somebody like with a huge brand like a grant cardone or something they started from at the end of the day the same place that you and i did you know honestly it's probably gary v that says this shout out to gary v again <laughs> yeah, yeah. but like everybody starts with zero followers you know yep. and like what did he do like why does he have that influence like if you like reverse engineer it like how did he do that you know and it's like oh well like content or like you know whatever you're doing or like documenting like I don't know, day in the life or something like that, like YouTube videos, yeah. TikToks, like if you just like boil it down, like it's, it's building a brand, it's building influence and, and presence. And you're right. I, I really like what you said a second ago too, about like, if you go into, you know, like creating an Instagram account or something like to make money, like great, but like, <laughs> how yeah. is that going to work out? You know, because yeah. not for nothing, but like Rome wasn't built in a day. You know, like this, no, this stuff takes no, time, not. man. Like if you're just in it for the money, like you're going to quit after like, you know, month one, you know, like if it's, if you're just going off of like genuine, like sincere, like helping people out and everything, like you're just going to keep doing it, you know, and yeah. like eventually, you know, you're going to get bigger. And like you said, you know, the money will come one day, you yeah. know, it's almost like yeah. just kind of builds in the brand and then like delay in your gratification. And then, you know, eventually things will work out. But until then, yeah. like, if you can help out all these people and, like, get them jump started, great. Like, that's, that's like, the real stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, 
you get a client to become a homeowner or yeah. uh, you get a client to, to save money on something based on something you thought or uh, you get them to invest in NFTs and they make money, right? By, you know, after they listen to this podcast. So there, there's so many sides and angles to it, right? That, that how, how they're benefiting. Um, but I love, what I love about social media is the, the building a personal brand. I yeah. think that's very powerful. I mean, I started realizing it in, in 2019 when I opened that Instagram account. I'm like, listen, doesn't matter what, I, what I'm going to do. I want people to know who Sidrit is, right? Yeah. Whether I'm a lender, a real estate agent, whatever, right? Um, and 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 it's worked, right? And and I don't. I want people to know like what I do, you know, like what's going on, like how I can help them. Um, you know, some people do a much better job than I do, like posting like, you know, family stuff too. I mean, I'm I'm not too too good at that. I'm trying to keep it mostly like focused on on the field that i'm in yeah but um but yeah building a personal brand is huge and and it's going to become even bigger and i think that like social media is going to be our scorecard or at least our kids scorecard down the road when you know they're out there it's like hey you know let me see what are you doing out there right i mean it's going to be weird not to have a social media account right Oh, hundred um, percent. It's like, you don't exist, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> dude, like you're not on like Instagram, like what? <laughs> right. I mean, when I hear people that, Hey, I don't have Facebook or I don't use any social media. It's like, okay. Like there's, there's more to this, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how I feel about no social media. Yeah. Right. I mean, it almost kind of get... scares me, man. Like, yeah, I, I'm okay with hearing I'm taking a break from social media. Yeah. I think we all do. It's good. It's healthy, right? I mean, mental health issues are, are real. Yeah. So, you know, like taking a break because I've done it. You know, I've taken a month break. I've taken two months break. It's fine. You know, like we need time to reset. But it's tough for me to believe that I search for someone and they don't come up, right? Or yeah. Or it's tough for, for me to believe, hey, I can't see, I, that business doesn't have an Instagram page, right? That tells me that they're not really focused on promoting their business, right? Exactly. So how good is that? How good will their food be, right? Yep. <laughs> or even like, like if they don't show like pictures and stuff of that dish, man, like, yeah. like you can tell me about <laughs> it. Like I can read your menu. Great. But like, I want to see a picture of that chicken palm, man, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see this thing in the flesh like you know you're right and like that's what it is it's like it it almost kind of like just makes me nervous like when somebody like just doesn't exactly you know like when you come across somebody like once in a great while that just isn't online like anywhere and like yeah. I, it just I don't know it's it's I, yeah I don't, I don't, I don't want to yeah. say weird but it's different yeah and you you get to decide what you want to post on there, right? I mean, if you if you want to post family stuff, you do. If you want to close it, you know, like have your own, you know, like your own private people follow you, you can close it. If you want the whole public to know what you're doing, like I I get the privacy thing. I think we're beyond that at, at this point. Like yeah, it's kind of too late, you know, like you can't have social media and worry about privacy i mean some of our privacy w- was gone like long time ago yeah. <laughs> um, but at the same time you still have some control over it what you want to post yeah so it's like let's not talk about privacy when you post you know what you do every day on facebook right like <laughs> what do you have for breakfast lunch dinner you know so <laughs> yeah exactly Anyways, that's a different topic <laughs> There was something that um it's funny that we're talking about this cuz I was reading through um I think it's called 1 million followers it's uh it's a short book um I forget who wrote yep. it I want to say it was like like Brandon something like Brandon Kane or something like that I don't know but like I I just so happened to be flipping through it yesterday you know it's one of those books on like you know how to build your Instagram and like your growth and like you know this is what you do for ads and like 
I don't know, just kind of like a, a more generic, um, you know, book on like, I guess, growing like an online presence. And there was one part in this book that I highlighted that really stuck out to me. And it was um, basically they were talking about Sophie Turner. So she's, uh, you know, one of the actresses in Game of Thrones. And they were saying, I don't know if it was for Game of Thrones or like if it was for another show, but they were talking about, um, you know, they were like uh, applying for like a role for a show or, you know, however you do that or whatever. <laughs> um, but it was between Sophie Turner, who at the time was like a lot, um, you know, more amateur of an actress. And then, you know, this other person who they didn't name them, but they were a lot more established. Well, case in point, they ended up picking Sophie Turner for that role because of her influence on social media, because the other more established actor had less of a presence and wow. her with less of a presence or her with less of a right. career and more of a presence like they on picked her. Media. It was something that just blew me apart, man. I'm like, whoa, like that's crazy. Because I mean, like that's, it seems like that's like a really big commodity now is the influence, you know, like. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, listen, if you have, you know, like a community of 10,000 people, um, you, you can, you, you know, like, let, let's say a company want, wants to target people in Boston. Right. Yeah. And they say, Hey, Kyle, you have 80% of your followers are in Boston or you show them that. Right. And they say, hey, okay, we want to target uh, 25-year-olds uh, and, and, and uh, let, let's post this sneak, sneaker ad, right? And you're like the exact target audience that they need because they know based on the followers that you have. And it's, it's amazing, right? It I fits. mean, they know that they could reach, let's say, 8,000 people in Boston, which is what they need, right? And they can see that from your social media engagements. Yeah. It's unbelievable, it's so, man. It's so powerful. <laughs> so powerful. I mean, yeah. Versus like, like spending ads or spending like blind money, you know, on Google ads. And they can, go, that, that's why I said that, you know, content creator creators are the future marketers and future, you know, like uh, future of ads. So, uh, and you see it, you see it already. I mean, you go, are you on TikTok? I have one. I've made probably like 10 of them, but. I haven't really like gotten into it too much. <laughs> that's fine. No, that's fine. Uh, no, all I was going to say, like, you see some of these TikTok content creators, they've, you know, like they have 500,000 followers or a million. And next thing you see, like, you'll see like McDonald's, you know, like them doing like a McDonald's ad, right? Yeah. And, and it's like, how did my, oh, and so another thing, right? We have a TikTok family account too where we have, I think, like 13,000 followers. And once you're over 10,000 followers, you can, you can let, there's like a creator marketplace. You let these companies and brands know that you're available for marketing. What? And if they, yeah, yeah. And if, if they want to like you to promote something, you set like a minimum fee and, and they can reach out to you. That's unbelievable. Especially with like the the organic reach for TikTok as well. I've wanted to get oh, into it, but like I, I haven't like like focused and like. <laughs> I know it, it's tough. It's you tough. know, trust me, trust me. I know, but you're you're doing a lot. You're doing a lot. You're you're doing well with your podcast. So, um, keep it up. Keep it I up. appreciate it, man. You as well. Yeah, the uh, yeah. I I absolutely love. You know, we talked about it a little bit before the podcast, but. Guys, you're going to check out Sidrid's social media, like absolutely like awesome, awesome videos and, and content and stuff that he puts out. Like it's it really is amazing. Thank <laughs> like you. We, Thank like you. We, I appreciate that. Yeah, 100 percent. You know, like the motivation just, to do more. Of course. I feel you, man. Same exact way. <laughs> Guys, I, I was talking to um, I was telling him right before the interview that uh, there was a video that he made uh super recently and, <laughs> and like I, I love it so much like it, I, I love them all but like this one just like really really stuck out to me it was um it was a tech talk and it was uh 
he, it, you know, it's like Sidra was on the phone and, um, you know, it says like, oh, like, you know, first time home buyer on the phone with their mom. And it played um, like Gru from Despicable Me saying like, oh, mom, like, guess what? Like, you know, you're never going to believe this. And, you know, it was talking about like closing on your first house and stuff. I was telling him, like, I've literally watched it like a couple times in the past couple of days and like, just like laughed my ass off. I'm like, it's <laughs> like, I love this. This is so funny. And like, it's, it's, it's amazing. You guys got to follow him. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. And, and a lot of that, it's like, I watched like other videos with, let's say sound bites, right? Yep. And, and, you know, it's like, oh, I can create this for, you know, what I do. And like I said, as we were talking before we started, it's like my goal now is like not to spend more than like five, 10, maximum 15 minutes on like a TikTok or reel, right? I mean, in the beginning, you may spend an hour or two hours, but eventually you want to get to a point where you're not wasting half of your day, you know, like on one TikTok. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, TikTok can be addicting though, you know, like once you start scrolling, it's it's tough to stop yeah. yeah it's interesting man like what once in a while like me and one of my buddies will hop on and uh we'll literally like just get lost you know like just like everybody else like time goes away and it's like oh like just one more video and then like you're starting to crack up and it's like oh you know i'll just watch <laughs> a couple more you know like it's interesting like just the like that consumer um i guess kind of like side of the platform like the consumer versus like the producer of like the tiktoks and stuff and For like, sure. I, don't, I don't know, it just, it's incredibly interesting. I, I love the platform. I really do. I, I want to get into it a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, I mean, the fact that it incentivizes you, right. I mean, uh, it's a bonus, right. Yeah. I mean, but it, it's less like judgmental, right. I mean, I feel like on Instagram or like, trying to be more like polished and TikTok and and I'm I'm trying to get off of that mentality. I'm like I want to be in a place where what I'm posting on TikTok I can post on Instagram, right? Yeah. It's fine. You know, whoever appreciates me, they'll appreciate me on Instagram or TikTok. You're right. right. Uh even though like some plat like I wouldn't post TikToks on on uh LinkedIn, but yeah. <laughs> I see what you're saying, you know, because like, yeah, like people will be like in a mood, you know, for what you're looking for. Like, if you're looking to to laugh your ass yeah. off, like, are you gonna go on LinkedIn? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, I, you want to go on TikTok? Yeah, I totally agree <laughs> with what you're saying, though, man. You know, if like if people don't like it, like whatever, like there's gonna be people that will, you know, and like the people that appreciate it, like on each platform, will appreciate it on the other ones as well and stuff. I, I totally agree with you. A hundred percent. But yeah, Instagram, I mean, ever since they introduced the reels, I I think, you know, there's more similar content to TikToks. So I, I, you know, like I'm post, like there's some stuff I just leave them on TikTok, you know, like that may be like quick content, you know, not, you know, nothing crazy, but a lot of the good content, which I like, I'm posting, I'm posting from TikTok on Instagram too. Yeah. Reels, Instagram reels. Yeah. Yep. So, Sergio, let me ask you this one, man. Tell me, bro. This one, I love to ask people this one because it it uh, tell it, me, it trips up some people. So, how <laughs> do you define wealth? All right. So, all right. <laughs> so, wealth. I'm gonna say. So, for me, it, it's it's not about money. I think for me, it's about finding a purpose and and a thing that's going to like make you happy which will also generate the income and the lifestyle that you want right not everyone will want to be a millionaire right not everyone will want so much money right it's all about having a life you know that 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 makes you happy in in my opinion yeah. Whether it's 50 grand a year, 100 grand, 2 million, 5 million, 20 million a year. It, for me, wealth is like what makes you happy, right? Yeah. Um, once, once you find that in your life, I mean, once I, I started my career in lending, I'm like, 
this is what I want to do. I can see myself doing this for a long, long time because it's there's there's you know like there's so much gratitude for my clients you know like there's so much you know like i feel good once they close on a house i'm happy right you know yeah. like everybody's I'm happy going... man <laughs> champagne bottles are popping and... <laughs> yeah yeah so for me i i know it's it's a tough question you know like defining wealth but it's not about money man it, at yeah. the end of the day it's it's what makes you happy and, and right. it's like finding that, that balance that I love what I do. Maybe 50 grand is enough, right? I mean, yeah. you could live in a place that 50 grand is way too much money for you, right? I mean, maybe not too many places in the US, but you know what it's I possible. mean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mm-hmm. po- right, right. So, and, <clears throat> you know, but it, it's like doing what you love. And if you find that passion for me, that that's what wealth is about. And um you know like turning it into something that that you love yeah. right um like we we only have like one life right so let's make the most of it and um you know like there's you know like we all we've all i'm sure have like sacrificed in our own ways and in the industries that we've worked i mean but sometimes you just gotta like suck it up and <clears throat> you know like do what you gotta do for it a temporary time but then move on to what you love right right. absolutely love that man sorry that was a a long you know (laughs) definition of what i think about wealth no no no. i'd I'd love that man seriously you know like there was one word that i i really really like um when people use in there and that's balance you know and like just like you said you know like money it's so much bigger than money it really is like it's yeah you know, it's like you said, like, I mean, like there are even places, you know, like you said, like maybe not in the U S but maybe in other parts of the world where like, you know, if you're making 50 grand a year, like you're a okay. Yes. You know, and like, you can live in a really cool place. You can have like, you know, a, a goat, like cutting your lawn or, like, yep. with smells or something, <laughs> whatever you're into, you know what I mean? But <laughs> you know, like, yeah, but, yeah. 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 Seriously, man. I mean, you, I mean, if you look at some of, like some of the richest people in the world, they, they, they are driven, right? They're, they're driven by like purpose, like they have purposes, right? Like, yeah. like they, they have goals or, you know, it, it's not, I mean, once you have a billion dollars or you're like Jeff Bezos, right? And, and Elon Musk, it, it's like, you can have anything in the world, right? Yeah. So what motivates them to keep doing what they're doing every day right because it can get pretty boring pretty quick it's having a purpose right and and for them i mean it's like almost like unlimited money right more money than some countries make a year in gdp (laughs) (laughs) right but but in in reality i mean you got to give them a lot of credit because and and on the other, you know, on the opposite too, I'm sure there's a lot of rich people that doesn't mean a thing if, if you have money and you're not happy, right? Yeah. I mean, so finding, I mean, family, I think it's obviously a big purpose for everyone that <clears throat> that has that gift of being surrounded by a family. Uh, but then you find, you know, like other purposes in life, right? Helping others and you know, so many other things out there. So yeah, I think, yeah, we need money to carry on with our lives, but I think we need bigger purposes, you know, to push us forward. I love that, man. Honestly, Thank like you, that's bro. a super, <laughs> that's a super good point too, about like, like the uber wealthy, like nothing's stopping them from just like calling it quits and, you know, sitting on the beach and, you know, living that like, like stereotypical, yeah. like rich life. You know, so like, why are they still like doing their thing and, you know, coming out with like metaverses and stuff like, 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 (laughs) you know, like it's, it's much bigger than that. You know, it's like, if you have all the money in the world, like, great, you know, but like, if you're going to keep doing what you're doing and like money's aside, like, yeah, you're all set and like, you're, you're comfortable, but like, it's, it's a bigger purpose. Yeah. You you need a mission. Yeah. You know, and, and just continuing to build, like just just for fun, you know, and just to achieve that vision and, and keep, you know, growing bigger visions and stuff. And 
like monies aside you know it's it's yeah crazy. yeah i mean I, <clears throat> yeah i i mean i i say this to my wife but i'm like i never want to retire you know like i you know what like uh, most most people say oh i'm gonna um you know once i'm like 60 or 50 i want to retire but then it's like okay so what are you gonna do next right yeah. you always have to have something i mean even like yeah i would never want to be without like doing like something right i mean yeah. whether it's lending i mean I hope I'm in this for, for a long while, but um, yeah, I mean, even when it's like time to retire, I think I'm still, you know, like up for a good challenge and, you know, like want to do something, you know, to like motivate myself. Right. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I, fi- I find it like life very boring without like a job or um you know, I mean, job sounds kind of like, I don't know, cliche, but, you know, like having, having a purpose, right? Having, having something that you want to build on and, you know. Totally, man. You know, like the thing that, that really gets me is like, like you said, you know, like the, the norm in society is to, you know, like work for like 40 or 50 years or, or what have you, and then retire, you know, at like, 50 to 65 or you know whatever your situation is but the thing that i i still will never really understand is like what happens if the day you retire like you know like not to kind of take things in like a a dark turn but like what if your health declines like a bunch and now like you can't like travel anymore or anything and like like so why did you just work those 50 or 40 to 50 years being like you know, maybe, maybe like kind of sort of happy ish, maybe like completely exactly. miserable. Like it's, it's bigger than that, man. And now like so much bigger. all that time, like that you could have been doing something different and like enjoying the hell out of, you know, the one life that you get, like now you can't like that scares the hell out of me, man. Like you're <laughs> like, you know, like I just, I don't get it. You know, like you wait like that long. Cause like, that's what everybody does, you know? And like, that's the norm and everything. But what happens when you get there? Well, yeah, when you get there and like, you know, if things don't go so well for you, like everybody wants to enjoy retirement. But like, what if, you know, things happen? Yeah. Like that scares me, man. <laughs> you it, it, know? No, I, I know what you mean. But I think I think the gig economy is is changing a lot yeah. of it. I mean, I mean, talk about being a YouTube content creator and making millions, right? Talk about being 16 years old, making a hundred grand, you know, like live streaming your, your, your games on YouTube and Twitch, right? It's mind blowing. And that, 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 that mentality that we have that, oh, uh, you know, I'm going to work for 40, 50 straight years so I can live happy in retirement. No, I mean, you should be doing what you love now. Like don't, you know, just because you are offered a pension or like if you're happy and and, then you're making a little less money or that has opportunity to make so much more money down the road, go for it. You know, like you got to take some risks in life. Right. I mean, life's too short, man. It is, it it is, but I'm really like, uh psyched about the gig economy and everything that we're we're going through right now um especially with social media metaverse crypto um it's so like so like encouraging i mean for my kids too i mean like <clears throat> why would i mean if if kids i mean i i i'm pro education i want people to go through steps through the call but if if your kid is making enough money and can educate themselves you know, like through any type of education and they're happy with what they're doing, why why would you want to push them, you know, towards a career that they don't want, right? Exactly. Honestly, like, and that's something that, you know, I like to kind of like, you know, try to, I guess, like open people's eyes to, is like, cause it's not like, it's almost like you have to like find this information. 
but like once you find it like it's like a ridiculous amount of of information and stuff that you can learn you know but like finding it for the first time that like hey you know there's actually like a completely different way to live your life than like you know your parents and their parents and their parents like this it's like time's different now like the generations are different and everything and like like there's just a different way to to do things like you can you know you can like go to college and like get a good job and everything and like that's fine you know like if you're happy and stuff like you can join a trade um exactly but there's also this cool thing called like entrepreneurship and like (laughs) you know like real estate and stuff like and like being a twitch streamer and and stuff you know and, and making content like it's it's different now it's it's amazing man but you, you have to know when to like say stop in terms of, you know, like if it's getting too much. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, put it down, like, you know, like don't, don't be on your phone for a day or two. Right. And, you know, like focus on your family. If you, if your kids are sick, you know, like, and you don't, you're not Gary Vee that has a social media team and, and creates stuff for you. Let's put it down. Family comes first. Right. Of course. Your social media will still be there, you know, like a day, two days, five days after. So, um, but it, it's so encouraging and all, all the things that we're seeing. Um, yeah. YouTube, YouTube is another powerhouse that I've, I haven't been able to figure out. Um, everyone that I hear, I mean, it, everyone says it's a one, two, three year commitment um, that you have to put in constant at least like one video per week um but yeah i I, once once i'm like more organized maybe have like a virtual assistant down the road that can help with you know social medias uh i i want to put spend more time with youtube too yeah i don't blame you man it's it's huge oh yeah oh yeah absolutely (laughs) Yeah, let me know. Um, let me know when you want to get a, a virtual assistant, man. I'm uh yeah, we were talking a little bit about it before the podcast, but um, you know, guys, I, I ended up hiring one recently. I've wanted to do it for a long time. And literally, like it's been extremely rewarding so far. Um and like I, I wasn't really sure how it was gonna go because like like I had my process for like editing the podcast and like you know, you take like the raw Zoom uh, footage from like the actual Zoom call, put it into Adobe Premiere and like move this here and this here and like change the number here and the name and the picture. And like that was my process, you know, for like over a year. But the issue was, is that it would take absolutely forever. And, you know, like trying to, um, you know, be like a real estate agent and like hopefully, you know, get like a, a property or something soon um you know as well as like enjoying the weekends and stuff with friends family like it's it was tough you know and like especially trying to hit like you know open houses and stuff you know on saturday and sunday are are huge you know for for agents um so having like basically half or more than half of the day on sunday taken up from from that was tough but literally like like a virtual assistant like can totally like change the game and like it's amazing it's nuts, man. Like they literally, like I like kind of made uh, like video, um, like standard operating procedures and stuff, as well as kind of, you know, wrote down like my vision and stuff for the podcast and like kind of, you know, what the idea is. And I gave it to, you know, a, a VA and um, I'm giving him 50 bucks an episode. And it's, it's pretty fair. Like he set the rate, like, you know, everything's going really well. Um, you change like the layout of it and stuff. And like, I, I like it a lot more. I, I think it's a bit cleaner than, um, than what That's I can do, but pretty much like just the, the concept of like being able to delegate even like something as small as this, like to somebody who, you know, does it all the time. So like they have their processes ironed out, does it a hell of a lot better, you know, cause they're so used to this and like, they've done it a million times. And then be able to recover your time back, you know, for some of those like, uh, like bigger picture, um, you know, type of yep. tasks and stuff. And like, it's, it's unbelievable, you know, and like to be able to do that um, and like the, the wages and stuff, um, 
in like the Philippines, like that's, that's like completely fair, you know, like it's, it's an equivalent exchange both ways, you know, and like, it, (laughs) it's kind of, it's a a fair trade. Exactly. It's kind of funny because like telling some people about it, like it kind of comes off the wrong way at first. And then you have to be like, all right, listen to me. Like, wait a minute, you know, like telling them that like, you just hired somebody from overseas to like, you know, edit your, your podcast or, or, you know, cold call or something. Like sometimes people kind of get the wrong idea, but. Um, no, I don't think so, man. No, don't, so? don't, don't, yeah, no, don't, <laughs> don't let other people's judgments, you know. Oh, you're your right. Definitely. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, I don't know. It's, it's been, um, you know, like the reason I say that is because like, it's just been like a total game changer. And like for the first time, at least with the podcast, you know, in, in a little over a year, like I've been able to actually like sit down, like write up my long-term vision for it and like kind of focus on like that next step up to like hitting that vision. Cause I know that like, Amazing. you know, this is going to get taken care of somewhere else. And like, you know, you can kind of focus on like bigger picture stuff and like, it's, it's just been mind blowing you know, just for like the, the principle of being able to delegate out, you know, a lot of other things and like your business and stuff, like as you go along, like just kind of like learning that skill, um, you know, for a, a really cheap price, you know, in the bigger picture. Um, mm-hmm. And it's, well, it's been it, nuts so far. If you're not investing in yourself, whether it's, you know, like paying someone to, to update your podcast or your social medias, you're never going to grow, right? Exactly. I mean, yep. there, there's no way you can do everything on your own. No, exactly. And it's funny, I was having the same conversation last night with, with another lender. And, and that's exactly what I told him. It's that my, you know, my, my production and, you know, my business is doing so much better since I have a team behind me, you know, like I have an assistant that helps me. Um, because you can't, you know, there's certain things I should not be doing, right? I mean, exactly. there, there's more important tasks that, that I need to do and be out there. And um, I'm more towards the business development side and talking to clients and, um, you know, doing my social media stuff rather than, you know, replying to an email about something that doesn't pertain to me directly. Right? Exactly. You know, like yeah. <laughs> about a pay stub, right? I mean, it, it's like the processor can can take care of that. You know, it's yeah. it's something really easy. So you're right. Um, Everybody gets the same 24 hours. You oh, know, yeah. like when you're able to delegate out some of that stuff, like all of a sudden, you know, your 24 hours Feels gets so freed good. up and like you still get the result you want, like potentially a lot better. better. And like it's it's nuts. Like the sky's the limit, man. Good for you, man. I'm happy for you. I'm happy that you made the step to get the, the virtual assistant. That's huge. Um, Thank you so much, man. Because now it's like you see that that works. And even if it didn't work, I mean, still try again. I mean, one, exactly. Uh, my, my lesson, I mean, I know this is not the same thing, but my lesson with the stock market, uh, when I started, I was like 19. I, I put some money in like penny stocks, right? Yeah. Uh, not some money. It was like six thousand dollars, and I think you know, like I lost majority of it in like the first year. Uh, I lost like four grand, but you know, like I stopped. I think for about a year, but then I went back to it. Right? I mean, you learn from your mistakes, even if it's not, you know, you didn't do it right the first time. Doesn't mean that that it's not the right thing. So you just exactly. haven't found the right person. Exactly, um, man. You know, and like <clears throat> that's um that's the thing is like I feel like you know, when it comes to like taking a huge step, like in your business or even like something like that, or, you know, starting like a new venture or or something, you know, like if you can get your foot in the door, like even if things are going to go like horribly wrong, like now you have a baseline. So now like, it's just a matter of like, all right, like you might've failed the first time, you know, you're going to come back build on you know the thing that went wrong the first time like why did that go wrong like how can i fix that and now like you're just adding on the baseline each time that you do it and eventually you're gonna get it you know like i feel like it's just kind of like the first time doing it that's like really tough and then like now you you have a starting point and now you can just kind of like build on the starting point and eventually you're gonna get it you know to to where you're looking for 
eventually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's an eye opener. It's an eye opener because you're like, Oh, actually I can do this thing with X, Y, Z task or, you know, yeah. with X, Y. It's um, more tools in your tool belt, you know, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. And now all of a sudden, like you're able to do a lot more stuff like a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, because like just learning all those skills and like, you know, starting to refine some of them and like, who knows, you know, like once you do it once, you know, like you said, like you'll probably be able to see other areas that you can replicate that same thing. And now like you already sure. learned the skill, you just have to apply it somewhere else. You know, it's the sky's the limit. hundred percent. A hundred percent. You're doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that, you know, like I came on the podcast because I'm so excited. We, we have been to... planning this for for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I've been so excited to have you on, man. Like seriously, Thank you, bro. like Thank keep you, pumping man. out the content and everything, man. Like I absolutely love love what you're doing as well. It's it's Thank some you. crazy stuff. Thank you. We're we're uh, we're gonna do big things. I mean, don't you know? Like one 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 day at a time. That's what I tell right. myself, right? I mean, it, it can't happen overnight, and you know, success doesn't happen overnight. No. You know, you know that the Rome wasn't built in one day, like you said earlier. So, <laughs> exactly, um, man. Yeah. So, Sidra, where on um social media can you be found? I know we we so, talked about a couple. <laughs> but I'll drop everything down below. Everything you got. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Well, I, I'm on uh, uh, primarily Instagram, Facebook, um, TikTok, LinkedIn. I have a Twitter. Uh, I, I'm trying to be more more active on Twitter too. I think Twitter is a good space. I, I like Twitter a lot. Um, I think it's has like less clutter still from all the social medias. I think, you know, like you get like valuable information quickly and, you know, kind of move on and yeah. spread your thoughts. Um, yeah. I mean, those are my main ones. I do have a YouTube channel too. Um, it still needs a lot of work, but um I'm thinking to repost some of my podcasts that I have going there too. Um, but yeah, okay. eventually I'll be more on YouTube as well. <laughs> Sweet. I'll definitely drop everything for your podcast as well, my man. I can't wait to you're, see uh, see where it goes best. as well. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. And thank you so much for having me, man. Thank you so much for coming on here, Sidra. It, it means a lot, man. All right, guys, that concludes our Creating Wealth podcast episode for today. I want to thank every single person that has listened this far. It really means a lot to know that people can learn from me and with me as we build wealth together. Hopefully, you can take home at least one thing from this podcast that will improve your life just a little bit. If you could, please check me out on social. That's at Kyle Curtin Real Estate on Instagram, Facebook, and I'm on Bigger Pockets. Until next time, let's build together.